Today we uh, discuss a little bit about uh, the polarizer. Uh, we will use um, Polytechno uh, polarizer as an example. Polytechno is uh, one of the world uh, famous uh, polarizer producer. Uh, we use their products a lot. Okay, so actually uh, polarizer have uh, two types. Uh, one is uh, iron dye type, one, one is uh, uh, dye stop type. Actually, iodine type, if it is, uh, you know a little bit uh, uh, chemistry, you, you will know that uh, iodine, uh, it is uh, easy uh, to sublime uh, when heated. That, that is, uh, you know, from the solid directly, when heated directly, uh, go to the vapor, you know, without uh, liquid uh, that uh, state. Um, so in that case, uh, we, we know that iodine type of polarizer can provide uh, pretty low cost and uh, it is easy to manufacture and uh, but you know because it is easy to uh, evaporate so uh, uh, the reliability not that good okay so but uh, normally we will use the uh, indoor and normal use uh, it is a provide a cheaper solution uh, you know, for outdoor and a high reliability, high temperature, uh, we use a uh, uh, dye stuff. So you you will not evaporate, uh, evaporate very easily. So actually, it is damage. It is uh, difficult to damage it, <laughs> even with the heated. Okay, and uh, we can see that we have uh, a general purpose use or high contrast, super high contrast, paper white super high contrast a zinc substrate okay and with uh, a dye stu type we have a high durability super high durable and a high contrast super high uh, durable and a white paper white uh, super high durable and a super high contrast and uh, also have the color polarizer you know, a white virus a color polarizer so the violet that's a use for uh, stn uh, so it it is belong to one of the color polarizer. Okay, so we see the structure of the polarizer. We can see the structure is a very simple. First uh, is a protection a film uh, to protect the polarizer to get a uh, scratched. Okay, and then there is another layer. Uh, for example, it is a hot coating, anti glare, anti reflection, you know, layer. So uh, that is a put on the polarizer to have uh, a special purpose for that. And then with a two layer of uh, TSC layer, that is a, a protection, a protection layer. And actually the PVA layer, uh, that is uh, with uh, iodine material or dye stuff inside. Uh, this is actually, uh, is the middle, is heavily protected. That is a polarizer layer is very, uh, precious and expensive okay sometimes and uh, also of course with the adhesive layer and uh, also uh, uh, release film okay so sometimes they will have uh, uh, reflector a uh, reflective layer or transflective layer uh, uh, that is at the bottom of the uh, polarizer so the structure is a pretty uh, simple and uh, let's see is a coding system okay we will not get into the detail but uh, we will see it is a general polarizer a high contrast polarizer super high contrast polarizer a paper white polarizer a violet uh, polarizer and also with uh, color uh, rgb uh, yellow cyan uh, magenta uh, color and also with a different thickness, a thinner and a thicker one. And also with a different uh, UV cut function, you know, because uh, liquid crystal, this uh, material, uh, if it's uh, exposed to the UV, it will damaged. So we have to use a polarizer to cut UV. You know? So the zero is uh, without UV cut, and one is uh, less than 4%, the two is uh, less than 1%. It's, uh, you know, almost uh, UV gone, okay. Uh, keep away from uh, the liquid crystal material. Okay, there is uh, transmission, uh, transmittance. Actually, we can see 
uh, from theory, uh, it should have 50%, uh, but actually it is a pretty low, okay? And uh, it has 38%, uh, 43%, uh, and 48%. Uh, so, um, you know, some colleagues may ask why, uh, you know, we were not making it uh, eight. 48% uh, is the higher the transmittance, so the, the, the background color of the uh, background uh, brightness of the LCD will be brighter, so that will be better. But there were other consideration, you know, that is a trade off. Normally, uh, the higher uh, the transmittance, the, the contrast will be lower. So we, we have to select the, the polarizer depends on the application. Okay. And uh, there is a function uh, classification. There is an uh, adhesive layer on one side with uh, anti-light leakage function and an aluminum reflector with uh, uh, directivity and an aluminum reflector without a directivity and a silver reflector. Of course, you know, it will be expensive, but it will provide a very high uh, reflection and also have a transflector, okay. And a surface function, we have anti-glare, hot coating, anti-reflection, low reflection, okay. And uh, there are a lot of uh, combination. And uh, for the dye stuff uh, polarizer, the uh, classification will be high durable, high, a uh, super high durable, uh, high contrast super high durable, super high contrast, a lot of supers here. And uh, for the hue, it's also a natural gray and a paper white. Okay, and a single transmittance, it can be divided uh, into uh, around 45%, uh, 42%, and then gradually go down to 38%. And also have a UV cut or without UV cut. And also have uh, adhesive uh, layer on uh, one side and uh, also an uh, aluminum uh, uh, reflector you know, with a different property and also with a silver reflector, transflector uh, that's the same as the iodine type and also the same as the anti-glare, hard-coated anti-reflection, low reflection okay uh, because of time limited we have to go through pretty quickly so let's see uh, that is a, a data sheet table for iodine type uh, polarizer. So we can see this is a single polarizer transmission, and this is a two polarizer crossed. So when it cross, we know that uh, the transmis uh, transmission is very low. You know, actually, uh, for uh, super high contrast, actually it is a very low. You know, less than. Uh, 1% of light can can be uh, transmi transmitted, you know, and uh, that will be uh, provide a very good uh, contrast, okay? And uh, if it is uh, too high, and uh, the, 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 that will be uh, lower contrast, okay? That is, you know, in theory, so we can get the contrast that is uh, uh, 43 divided by 0 0.8, so around 50 you know, the highest 80, uh, 50 uh, contrast. But uh, for this, okay, it's uh, uh, 42 divided by 0 0.1. So there were, uh, in theory, they can get a contrast, best contrast of uh, 420. So for this, it's even, even higher. But in reality, because uh, there, there is a lot of uh, reflection layer between, so uh, contrast rate will be much lower. And uh, so uh, YP, that is uh, two, uh, uh, polarizer is that it's uh, put a parallel together. You can see that it's uh, you know, reduce a lot of transmission here. You know, if it is a compare with just a one polarizer, and uh, the PY that is uh, uh, polarizer efficiency. You know, uh, polarizing efficiency. Uh, we can see the the the, the higher, you know, actually uh, the better of the contrast and. Uh, uh, normally, we think that uh, if it's a uh, uh, the, the efficiency higher than ninety nine percent, ninety nine 
0.5%, so we will think it is a high contrast. But you can see here, it's a very high contrast. Okay, so this is a color. Okay, so polarizer made by the polarizer, of course, we hope it will be super white, but uh, actually it has some color there. So, uh, and also UV cut. So, uh, it is a transflective uh, polari polarizer uh, data. You know, from here we can see uh, what is uh, a transmittance uh, rate. Okay, so what is the reflection rate and also the color? Okay, or color of the transmittance and reflect. Uh, reflection so that will be different so we can see normally the uh, transmission and reflection that is a trade-off okay so if the uh, transmission is lower then the reflection will be higher you know of course we would like to have a transmission and uh, a reflection both uh, pretty high but that can be pretty difficult to produce so uh, in a real application uh, normally we will select you know uh, the different uh, transmission and the reflection uh, according to the requirement from the customer and uh, th uh, this is uh, um, we, we can see this is uh, some chart here and uh, this is a single uh, polarizer that is transmittance and uh, also the color okay if it is a two polarizer crossed so we get uh, the transmittance and the uh, color and uh, po if it is a two uh, polarizer put the uh, parallel each other we can see the color and the transmittance okay and uh, this is uh, polarizing uh, coefficient okay and uh, we can see the chart. Of course, we were like, in order to get a high performance uh, air, uh, LCD, we like to have uh, the transmittance of the parallel as high as possible, but the cross is a low pro as low as possible to get a better contrast. But in uh, reality, so that will be <laughs> pretty expensive. Okay. And uh, this is a high contrast iodine polarizer. We can see uh, you know when it is crossed so the, the, this line is very very low so in that case we can get a very high contrast okay and this is a super high contrast polarizer actually it's crossed uh, less than 0 0.01 percent okay we can see it is uh, almost invisible is uh, almost touched to the zero so that can provide a very uh, high contrast display so this is a vo uh, violet uh, polarizer they have the color so we put uh, uh, in some of the display so make it uh, you know with a uh, with a diff different color we we need it okay this is a uh, color you know wavelengths uh, for that and uh, we can see this is a blue okay bluish so this can produce uh, uh, some very beautiful uh, LCD with a bluish LCD. And uh, uh, let's explain a little bit uh, about anti-glare. So if it's a surface uh, very smooth, so you, you know the light will uh, just uh, reflect the uh, so surface. So sometimes you know the reflect is uh, very easy. Uh, it is uh, very difficult to see. So we just uh, make it, uh, you know, the surface uh, a little bit bumpy. Uh, so in that case, uh, uh, you know, the, the light, light when it is a strike on the surface or scattered, uh, that is called the anti-glare. Okay, for the hard coating, it's the same. So we put the uh, silicon dioxide layer uh, sputter on the surface to make it very hard. You know, normally it's a 3H, so it is a, uh, uh, can resist most of the scratches. You know, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, when I printed uh, this page uh, from uh, uh, Pro Protechno website, so it just uh, changed into this, but uh, we understand the meaning, okay? So actually there are some, he uh, some uh, different uh, 
uh, anti glare and hot coating uh, polarizer with it. So we can select uh, uh, wh what is the hardness. Normally it's a, a three edge, okay. And uh, what is the gross city of this? So we can uh, change it from small to you know pretty big. So in this case, uh, uh, the 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 lighter scattering uh, can be different, but. Uh, we will not uh, choose uh, too much of the uh, grocery uh, city because uh, you know that will make uh, the air city also blur. So that depends. This is an anti uh, light leakage type. We can see this is uh, no leakage. You know, very small leakage. This this is a leakage. So we will get a very good contrast on the anti light leakage type. And uh, this is uh, a wide viewing angle type, okay. And actually, this is a reliability test. We can see, you know, for the durability. So uh, this is a kind of a test uh, the polarizer did, you know. Uh, so even with uh, 105 degree, if in the dried condition, it can pass uh, 1,000 hours. It is a uh, pretty durable, but. Um, uh, with the humidity here, so for example, it is a sixty uh, degree C with a ninety ninety five percent uh, humidity, so uh, it can just uh, five hundred hours. Okay, for the cold temperature, uh, normally will not affect the polarizer. So uh, most of the damage uh, for the polarizer is uh, first is the uh, humidity and uh, second is the uh, temperature. For uh, orient display uh, polarizer, you know the best we can uh, uh, we can do is uh, eighty five percent uh, of humidity and eighty five uh, degree C. Your RSD can pass one thousand hours, so that's a very very extreme condition. And uh, I just uh, especially mentioned this polarizer is uh, you know. Uh, Tico polarizer. Actually, this uh, for FSTN. Uh, we know that uh, the nature color of uh, F uh, of STN is a yellow green. With uh, this uh, film uh, put it on on the air city, we can change it to black and white. Okay, so uh, that's a brief uh, introduction for the polarizer.